these text messages, are they a true and correct reflection of your messages on November 27, 2013? Yes, they are. Judge, I'd move in Exhibit 34 at this time. Any further objection? No, Your Honor. They are admitted at this time. May I publish? You may. Now, uh, you see the, the timing is in military time, so it says November 27th at 1342. We can agree that's 142. Yes. Katie says, my ex knows about you. I'm pretty sure I, I know how he knew because he even knows your name. Do you see that? Yes, I do. And you say, do I know him from my past? Do you see that? Yes, I do. What are you asking Katie here? Um, I have no idea who who her ex is, and she's saying he knows me. So I'm, I'm saying, does he? Do I know him? And that's in late November, two thousand thirteen, right? Yes. That's after one month, almost after Halloween, correct? Yes. Yeah. As time went on, did you learn more about her ex? Uh, in, in the springtime, I did. In February, was there an incident with Katie and her ex that you recall? Yeah. Um, I remember her coming over my house, and she was, she was pretty upset. She had a, a mark on her neck. I... Uh, They'd gotten into an altercation, and he ripped a necklace that he'd given her off her neck. And she was crying, and she was all upset. How did you react? She could tell I, I was upset. I mean, someone just roughed her up. And uh, she could tell I was upset, and she said, don't, don't do anything. She goes, he, he will kill you. He, he will kick your ass. He's, you don't stand a chance. Now, why did you continue to date her after this? I didn't take that as a threat to me. I just took it as she's got a crazy ex-boyfriend that wants her back, and she's got two kids with him, and it, it wasn't a threat. To, it was. I didn't feel like he was threatening me. She just was like, you know, it's a, it's a part of her life that I, I wasn't going to hold against her. I want to show you a couple other texts related to your relationship with Ms. Magbanawa uh, in February, January, February, and March of 14. And these will be Defendants Exhibits 35,
The January text is 35. The February text is 36. And the March 24th text, do you have that one? Yes. Is 37. May I approach, Your Honor? You may. Just put it aside. That's 36. And that's 37. Can you take a look at these items? Do you recognize these text messages? Yes, I do. Were they kept, are they accurate reflections of your text messages? They are, yes. I would move these exhibits into evidence now, Your Honor. Any objection? Here, sir, Your Honor. I'm sorry, Your Honor. You can show me a copy of the exhibits. Yes, Your Honor. So let's talk about um, Defense Exhibit 35. Sure. A text from January 19, 2014. In this exchange, what is Miss Magbanawa asking you about? She asked me she asked me if I wanted things to be different and she was saying how much she missed me. And did you want things to be different at this point in time? No, I, I wanted things to stay the way they were from when we just started dating. Now, if you turn to Defense Exhibit 36, text messages from February 5th, 2014. Mm -hmm. What is she asking you? What does she start by asking you about? And you don't have to read it. Just tell the jury generally what she's asking you about. What is she concerned about? She's asking if I'm talking to a bunch of other girls. And what do you tell her in response generally? I, I say no I'm not and again in this text message she's asking you whether she's telling you that she wants more right yeah and how do you respond um. I ask I ask her are you thinking about getting back with your ex and then what do you say after that? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I say you're the coolest and most fun girl that I'm always happy when I'm around. And then I said, I know it's, it's not easy, and I think we're doing a good job at not rushing things. So, and what were you trying to tell Miss Magbanawa in this text message? I was trying to say I, I like you and I have a good time hanging out with you, but I don't want to rush things. Now, moving to text messages in March of 2014. 
Ms. McBanawa texts you, you've mentioned me to your mom, and you say yes, and she says, I love you, aw baby. How did you, why was this a big deal to her? Um, I guess when I'd spoken to her, I brought up that I'd mentioned her to my mom, and she thought I was trying to, I was making things more serious. So she, she got, I think she got excited over that. Okay, you can put those aside. Judge, I'm going to object regarding defense exhibit 37 and ask for our best evidence that it be published to the jury. I'll sustain on best evidence grounds. Please publish defense 37. Members of the jury, you're going to reach your own conclusions as to the context of the statements. Okay, let's publish it to the jury and see if it says what I've said. March 24th at 12.17. You see she texts you and says, you've mentioned me to your mom? Yes. Do you see that you respond, yes? Yes, I do. Do you see that she responds, that made me so happy? Yeah, she, she took it the wrong way. Any other clarification, Your Honor? Is it fair to say that she was excited that you had mentioned her to your mom? Um, yeah, she was she was happy. I mean, she she got overly excited. I, I wasn't expecting that. 